Hello children, today we will start the third lesson properties of natural resources and uh, which are the natural resources I think you know all of you air, water, soil, plants and animal these are the natural resources with these minerals, uh, minerals, mineral oil these are also metals are the natural resources ores of metals are the natural resources so in this lesson we will see some of the uh, natural natural resources properties of some of the natural resources so which are the gases present in the air so i think all of you know which gases are present in the air so the gases present in the air are which nitrogen it is in most quantity it is present then oxygen carbon dioxide then some other gases are also there and they are inert gases they are present in the air and why air is called as a homogeneous mixture all these gases are present in the air okay all the gases are present in the air but we cannot separate carbon dioxide we can't identify here is carbon dioxide here is oxygen or here is nitrogen so it is a homogeneous we see we can't see air and it is homogeneous and we cannot smell we cannot identify which gas is there in front of us so it is a homogeneous mixture okay what are the uses of various gas uh, various gases in air okay so first we know that that we are using oxygen for the respiration okay for all living thing existence of living things air is very, very important and that is the use of oxygen that human uh, all the living organisms taking with this some inert gases like neon they are using in the neon lights are there in it they are using afterwards carbon dioxide there is there it is using for the uh, plants using for the respiration and carbon dioxide what happens solid carbon dioxide we are using as a dry ice in the uh, uh, in the that cooler coolers inside and with this so many gases are there we are using in our daily nitrogen gases there plants they are using it's a compound in the uh, for their growth so first we will see the properties of air air all around us yes air is that we cannot see the air but we can feel air okay and we cannot see it we cannot see it, it we feel presence of air then also we feel the presence of air when we inhale okay when we are taking air inside our body air is taken through the nose okay okay just you inhale what your experience is that when you are taking air inside your body we are feeling we feel it okay if we blow our uh, <coughs> blow our hand through our lips we can feel air okay you just move your hand in front of your mouth whenever you are speaking or whenever you are respiring you feel the air presence of air is we cannot we can understand now here is one experiment take a stick take a uh, stick from a broom or a paper or a plastic straw that we have to take this is the straw tie a thread at its center this is the thread it is tied at the center of this straw and hang it so that it remains horizontal so it remains horizontal after that what we have to do tie two rubber balloons we have to tie two rubber balloons of the same size at the top end of the stick so here and here both side we have to tie two balloons see to it that stick remains horizontal okay stick is remaining horizontal now remove the one balloon and inflate it and tie it again it's the original position okay one we have to inflate and we have to tie to the other end and one side there is a what only uh, uh, uninflated balloon is there now this means that air so and does the stick remains horizontal this stick remains horizontal if you see in the page uh, uh, this uh, picture inside you will see that the line the line horizontal position is not seen in the experiment if what happens the balloon which is inflated it at that side what happens stick is getting slanting okay we will see the experiment of it Now see the miracle. 
in the inflated balloon will be heavier and will tilt. So this experiment proves that air has weight. Thank you. Now we saw the experiment, this experiment, and it shows that air has a mass or air has a weight. So see here. the inflate what happens in this picture the inflated balloon is there that side of the straw what happens it get what uh, slanting shows the slanting position towards the downward direction the stick goes down on the side of inflated balloon okay the stick is there it goes down you see the picture the stick is there, uh, that balloons where is the inflated balloon that stick go, uh, that side of the stick go down now this means that air has a weight it shows that air has a weight now air is a mixture of gases therefore like other matter it has a mass and weight both what they told you air is a mixture of different gases carbon dioxide then oxygen nitrogen and other inert gases are present in the air and that's why air is a what like other matter means all matters are there it has a its own particular mass and particular weight same way air also has a particular mass and a its a weight now we will see the next activity that is the take a injection syringe take a injection syringe without needle and pull its piston and observe it as you do so okay we have to observe it then the piston can pulled out easily we can pull the piston very easily okay this piston is a this is the piston when we pull it it is easily get what pulled the piston then remains in that position even if you let it go okay what they told you the piston then remains in that position even if you let it go then afterwards when you remove the piston then also what happens the piston remains as it is now close the inlet hole of the syringe this is the inlet hole of the syringe that we have to close with our thumb okay and now close the inlet hole of the syringe tightly with our thumb and pull the piston and let it go okay now you pull it and what happens you just leave leave this piston what you observe the piston moves automatically it goes inside in the is the force required to pull out the piston more or less before which force is more if you want to pull the piston at the when you close the inlet and you try to pist pull the piston which at which position you uh, need more more pressure so in the second situation when you close the inlet at that time what happens the piston is we cannot pull the piston very easily does the piston remains as it is after you let it go so it remains as it is it will it is not remaining as it is okay so now we will see the experiment of the syringe and then we will discuss on it in the barrel up to end and and hold the barrel with the two fingers the four finger and the middle finger like this okay so thumb and four finger middle finger holding the barrel pistol is free okay now neha come and i am holding this syringe in vertical position you pull the piston down yeah pull it pull the piston down yes pull it you have to apply a force hold it there okay hold it there are you applying a force you have to apply a large force in which direction downward why you have to apply so much of force downward what is what is obstructing yes air is pushing it up that is why you have to apply so much force in the downward direction okay now i leave it leave the piston see what happened this piston went up you have already left the piston why did it go up it went up because air pushed it up so that means air is exerting a force on this piston in the upward now i am holding this uh, syringe in horizontal direction and the piston is towards you and what is this direction this is south okay all right now you pull it towards yourself hold the piston and pull it in which direction are you applying the force you are applying force in the south direction 
So you have to apply a launch force in the south direction. Air is applying a force on the north direction. That is why you have to apply a force in the south direction to hold it there. Now leave it. Leave it? Yes. What did you see? The piston goes towards north. What pushed it towards north? The air. So air is now exerting a force in the north direction. Okay, now I am holding the piston. Now we saw the experiment which gives the answers of this question. Is the force required? Is the force required to pull the piston? <coughs> Is, for, is the force required to pull out the piston okay you saw the in the uh, video that that girl is there she is applying more pressure to pull the piston upside when the it syringe one end of the syringe is hold it tightly or because of it what happens air is not entering inside the syringe and so what happens vacuum is created inside the syringe and that's why what happens she had to apply more force on it does the piston as it is you saw that the piston is not remaining as it is what happens it is going inside so that uh, in that experiment you seen that when she is pushing pulling the syringe from south side the piston is moving inside the north side same way when she is pulling it from down the syringe is moving upside when she leave it okay then the molecule of the gases so what happens here the molecule of gases in the air are constant are in constant motion motion okay the molecules are there in the air and they are in constant motion they are always moving here and there when those molecules strike a body means what happens whenever we are in the air that time also when we are in the uh, what we are saying when there is a uh, high wind uh, uh, blowing at that time what happens we are losing our balance our all the clothes we are also what happens get little bit slanting get uh, bend towards the where the air is blowing so they create a pressure on the body okay and they create a pressure on the body and this pressure of the air that we called as a atmospheric pressure this is called as a atmospheric pressure what they told you the molecules of the gases in the air and are in a constant motion the molecules of the gases are in a constant motion when these molecules strike on a body they create a pressure on the body they create a pressure on the body and this pressure is called as a atmospheric pressure okay this is the definition of atmospheric pressure you have to learn it okay now we will move towards the forward on pulling the piston with the help of inlet hole okay now you should saw that that girl is pulling this piston in this direction now on pulling the piston with inlet hole is of the syringe is closed now inlet hole is closed with the finger that sir is there he is holding the inlet and the syringe in his hand and that girl is pulling the piston from the back side and from down side and the from south side you saw it more space becomes available to the air so what happens on pulling the piston with the inlet hole of the syringe closed more space becomes available to the air in the syringe whatever air is there in the syringe it gets more space and becomes rarefied okay means its particles are there becomes rare means we go far away from it as a result the pressure in the air in the syringe is lowered and what happens air pressure in the air in the syringe lowered comparatively the pressure of the outside air in the outside air is very high means air here also present that air's pressure is more okay that of the pressure which is present inside the syringe it is less <coughs> that is why <coughs> when we the when <coughs> the pulled out piston is released what happens immediately pushed in what happens when we are pulling and we leave it immediately what happens piston moves inside <coughs> if this experiment is repeated holding the syringe in different positions like vertical horizontal incline the piston is found to go in the same ex some, so same extent in all cases you uh, cases you saw that when she left uh, release the piston from down direction then also it is moving upward when she he is holding the uh, piston in the south direction then also what happens piston is moving inside so from this what end uh, we understanding because of the air pressure what happens when we are repeating this ex experiment because of air pressure what happens the piston is there in any position it goes inside the syringe it may be in the vertical position it may be in the horizontal position or it may be in the inclined position okay so piston found to go <coughs> 
found same extent at in this all cases from this what we are understand that we say that atmospheric pressure is same in all direction what we are understanding from this atmospheric pressure is same in all direction okay any direction is there but atmospheric pressure is what same in all direction so that is the important thing we understand from this experiment okay <coughs> find out is there any atmospheric pressure on the moon is there any atmospheric pressure is there on the moon okay what is your opinion see here whenever the things are keeping as it is or otherwise what happens it remains in the position so it shows that the atmospheric pressure is very less otherwise it is absent on the moon okay next do you know <coughs> under ordinary condition atmospheric pressure pressure at sea level is about 1 lakh 1400 newton per square meter this question's answer you have to write uh, in your notebook find its answer on it and correct answer you have to write in the notebook then newtons per square meter it can be measured with the help of barometer what they told you to measure the air pressure what we are using <coughs> it can be measured with the help of what barometer as we go higher above the sea, sea level atmospheric pressure what happens decreases means if it is a sea level as you go away uh, go from uh, above the sea level air pressure what happens it decreases and when you come near the earth surface the air pressure what happens increases okay so what they told you the under ordinary conditions condition atmospheric pressure at sea level is about 1 lakh 100 400 newton per square meter okay and it can be measured with the help of which instrument we are using for measuring atmospheric that is a barometer and the condition is that at sea level atmospheric pressure is more and as you go, go uh, above the uh, earth surface then what happens atmospheric pressure is decreasing place a piece of a cardboard let a little fun a place a piece of a cardboard on a mouth of the glass filled completely with the water holding the cardboard firmly and place it on a with one end invert the glass quickly take your hand away from this cardboard what do you see now we will see that fun we uh, fun of water and full of glass uh, full of what glass full of water and the cardboard's experiment 